Saludos familia, Angel Anderson here. I got a quick story for you today. Thanks to a question that came in through Facebook. Let me read the question to you and then I'm gonna jump to the story real quick. The question came in from somebody that wants to open a business. He said, I wouldn't say that I'm a big procrastinator, but of course I'm comfortable. So what, I, so what was the one thing that pushed you that extra step to get you started on all your ventures? It's simple. Uh, for me, the thing that pushed me to do something every day while I was still in active duty, keep in mind that I, my total service on active duty when, I'm, when all is said and, said and done is 20 years, 6 months, and 23 days. I should have got out like 8 years ago, and uh, I don't have a good reason why I didn't. They just probably like you, my jobs were so comfortable. Eight years ago, I was teaching. I was an instructor. The best job in the Air Force I had. Before that, before teaching, I was a, I worked F-22s. Before the F-22s, I ran a computer system and network. I was the I'm network administrator for about four years. And before, you know, I always had great jobs. So I got comfortable, just like you said. You get, You got comfortable. You get a check on the first and one on the 15th. And if your job is good, you get comfortable. So probably that had something to do with that, with my decision. Yours might be different. But one day I saw this uh, chief master sergeant getting out. So if, if he's the, if you don't know what a chief master sergeant is, is the highest rank that an enlisted person can achieve in the Air Force. He was getting out and he was angry, upset because he didn't, he wasn't prepared. He had to transition to another nine to five and he didn't want to. And he approached me and he said, Angel, I know you're not happy. You, I see you doing all these things outside. Don't be like me. And the conversation went longer than this, but in a nutshell, since that day, I, I look up to that person and to this day, we still stay in touch. And since that day, it was like a switch to me. I either stay up late or got up early, but every day I did something. Every day I did something. When my friends were in seven football teams, I was like, I was here in the computer, but I loved it. So you have to find something that you love. And if you have ever talked to me, you know that I can talk to you about marketing and selling and website for, without breathing, like, and you have to tell me to shut up and be quiet. Productivity, the same thing. Things that I really love and enjoy. So once you find the thing that you love and, and enjoy, then it's not a job. It's, you know, you will be happy because you're doing something that you just, you would do for free, but you just, are, you're getting paid for it. But you have to know your why. And and my, my reasoning was, I, I started a fa family back then, and I wanted to make sure that I live a stress-free stress life. And also I wanted to travel, I wanted to experience, and now that my kids are all, being able, being able to financially afford uh, travels to anywhere that we want, and we've been through a lot of places, it's been an, an amazing journey. The toys, the toys that I buy, it's just, they're toys, they're for me, but I don't show off that to anybody, I don't get expensive cars or Rolexes. But, but when I started, when I started in 98, I used to get, I bought an RV when I was 21, I don't know what the fuck I wanted an RV for. And Rolexes and cars and I ate, ate it outside every single day. It's useless. It's useless. But if that's your thing, that's your thing. My thing now is traveling, having a stress-free life, being able to help and work with people that I enjoy working, people that I would invite to my house. That's the only thing, that's the only thing I ask. Once you find your why, write on a piece of paper everything that you think that you need to do to accomplish that. And if you don't know, work your way backwards. So you wanna be here and then what it needs to happen before, what it needs to happen before. And every single day, do something, do something. Don't worry about doing 50 things, just one thing that gets you closer to the end goal, to what you want to achieve. Stay up late, get up early, don't drink on Friday so you can work Saturday in the morning or when everybody else goes to sleep, just do something on the computer for an hour a day. 
But once you find your why, that will be your driver to either stay up late or get up early while you while you're still in a nine to five. With that said, my friend, I'm not gonna drag this story. It is possible to start a business while you're in a nine to five. I love what I do and I'm going to continue doing it for a very, 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 very long time. And I hope you like my answer. And if you did, hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If they are private questions, send it to me via angel uh, via email, angel at angelanderson.com or Facebook if it's easier for you. And I will keep your name private. Twitter as well, Angel F. Anderson. Or my website, angelanderson.com. With that said, my friend, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you like this video. And again, if you did, hit the thumbs up because it means more than you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button so YouTube can let you know the next time I upload a video. With that said, my friend, see you in the next one. Peace.